Start by installing the purchase order app from the apps tab. In the wizard, check out the form. You can begin with the PO number. This is an auto-generated sequence number that you can set up however you'd like. Purchase orders are generally linked to purchase requests. You can key it in manually here, or if you use Kissflow for your purchase request, this is a great time to use the lookup field to get data from that app. You can keep fields like requester's name and department as they are, or you can set them to auto-populate with system formulas. Similarly, for all the vendor information, you can enter the information manually, or you can link all of your vendor information through a master so that it all shows automatically after choosing an approved vendor. Item descriptions can also be linked to masters and lists. All the information you put into the table will be automatically calculated and produced in this field. Then you can add any necessary taxes or other fees. In the workflow, you can set as many approval steps as you need. This one will automatically send an approval request to the initiator's manager if you click this button. You can also set up some tasks to occur only if the total amount in the PO is over a certain amount. In the permissions tab, you can control what information is seen in each task, so you can hide some data or set it to be read only so it can't be changed. When you're ready to publish your app, remember to give it a good subject. Here, the PO number or the vendor name may be a good idea. That's how to set up the purchase order app in Kissflow.